how's it going? It's Colin Daniel here from RiffNinja.com. Here to, here to show you how to be a genius with just two bar chords. Um, creativity is the uh, uh, essence of all of this, of course, um, being creative with what you got. Um, if you're limited or you're just um, getting into things, um, one of the first bar chords I like to teach is this F major bar chord. A couple little hints to getting it. Um, I'm assuming you kind of already experimented with the bar chord. So you know, at least you're familiar with it. You're not a total raw beginner. Um, most of my students have difficulty getting the bar chord down at the nut, down at the string nut here. So I move it up to like the third fret or the fifth fret or whatever. When you're barring, you're not necessarily using um, totally the flat of your finger. I'm using more the edge of the finger and I'm sneaking my uh, finger close to the fret I'm behind and if you look carefully right there you'll see that uh, my thumb is centered it's not like right like my thumb isn't right there my thumb is more like here so when I lay down my chord that the thumb is more centered depending on how big of a hand you have you could do the Jimi Hendrix style which was instead of barring use your thumb to get that six string um, I don't like that at all because I don't have quite a big enough hand and it's awkward for me. But if you had a big enough hand, um, I like the sound of this chord better when it's barred because it gives me the bass notes. And I still have my thumb to use. Sometimes I use the thumb for bass notes down the bottom end. But th this, this bar form works really good. It's universal. And where it comes from is if you've seen an E major chord before, and that's the first finger on the third string, first fret, the uh, second finger on the uh, fifth string second fret and the third finger on the uh, fourth string second fret. If you've seen that chord before, E major, all that chord I was just talking to you about, the bar chord, is you switch your fingers around. Instead of using uh, your first, second, and third fingers, now for the same chord you use your second, third, and fourth finger, right? And now you slide it up one fret and use your first finger, which is free, right? for the bar. So the bar is really like a movable knot, right? And there are so many songs you can play. So you can include the E major, your open E major, that's E major, that's F major, that's G major, that's A major, right? So E major is open, F major is barred at the first fret, G major is barred at the third fret, A major is barred at the fifth fret, B major is barred at the seventh, C major is barred at the eighth, D major is barred at the tenth, and you're back to the E at the twelfth fret. That gives you twelve chords right there without the uh, in-between chords, the sharps or flats, and that's easy enough. Uh, a sharp, you raise the note, uh, it raises the note one semitone, and a flat lowers it. So say somebody called for a G sharp. Well, if this is G, then this is G sharp. Now this is a major chord, not a minor, okay? It's easy to make a minor chord once you get this major, though. We'll get to that in a second. So if that's G, then that's G sharp or A flat, right? If this is a B and you want a B flat, there's B flat, a semitone, one fret below. So that takes care of your major chords. You can move them all over the place. Uh, one, four, five is your best bet, like G, C, and D. You know, A, D, and E, or A, you know, D, and E. It's it's all about the uh, three primary chords, the one, four, and five, your three main chords. Once you get that, you know, you've got every chord you want, really, in, in this 12th fret spectrum. Uh, you've got all the chords that are possible in major. Uh, you're covering all the musical notes of your scale. It's called chromatic, meaning all 12 notes. You know, if you've got F, then you've got F sharp or G flat, then you've got G, then you've got G sharp or A flat, then you've got A, then you've got A sharp or B flat, right? Uh, and all you need is a minor. Now, if this is E major, then this is E minor, right? One finger, right? You take your first finger off, 
the third string, that changes the color of the chord. So the same thing applies when you move it up. Like if this is F major, G, this is A major. If you take your second finger off, that becomes A minor instead of A major. This is A major, this is A minor. You know, so a lot of, uh, and of course you have to learn how to combine these chords, but that pretty much gives you the chords you need for any key. Pretty much. If you're in the key of A major, here's your A major, here's your F sharp, here's your D, and here's your E. You know, if you're in G, it's G major, E minor, C and D. If you're in F major, F, B flat, and C, D minor, so your relative minor, D minor is. You know, so you got F, B flat, C, and D minor. That's another way to look at it. It doesn't always work, but if this is one, this is four, this is five, and this is six, that works anywhere. Sometimes I like to move down, like if I'm going in the key of G, like G, C, D, then this is E minor. Well, I can play E minor open, so I might rather prefer to go G, E minor, C and D, right? Same like with the F major, like I might like F major, B flat major, C major, and D minor, like that. Because it's easier to, whatever way is the easiest to, to get, get to the chord, right? Um, no sense straining yourself too much if you can find the chords, chord elsewhere. It's like for the key of E, it's D, A, and B. By the way, the relative minor is always three frets below the tonic, whatever key you're in. So, for example, if you're in the key of B and you want the minor chord that goes with it, it's three frets below. See, there's hundreds and hundreds of songs that work off these two chords, you, you've got the whole spectrum. Look, if you've got, if this is G minor, or if this is G major, this is G minor, right? Then this is G sharp minor, or A flat minor. Then this is A minor, then this is A sharp minor, or B flat minor. This is B minor. All relates to the single note rule of E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. Just like a piano keyboard. Okay. And that should keep you busy for a while, some food for thought. Get on it and have fun, and we'll see you later.